Yo, what's good? This is Wrapped, also known as Ugodma. I'm casting the fifth game of my five placement matches before patch 15, and what you're going to be seeing here is a Protoss vs. Protoss on Blistering Sands. I'm squaring off against Dayman as the red tribe. I'm going to be representing this blue tribe over yonder. Oh yeah, as I look back now at uh, Dayman seemed to be a pretty uh, approachable how do you say it? What's the word? Opponent. There you go. He was uh, he was very chatty. He didn't take himself too seriously, and at the same time, he was able to um, display some decent gameplay. So uh, I'm not an expert, really, by any stretch of the term with Protoss versus Protoss, but I am doing really one of the only things I know how to do on Blistering Sands, which is wall off this small choke right here and use these rocks at my technical back door as my eventual front door later in the game once I can destroy those. But yeah, Dayman right here is just trying to get a refresher on what happened in patch 14. Patch 14 was actually a uh, hard to describe. It's just best really to read the patch notes for that one as there were a lot of detailed changes. He's gonna call good luck and he's gonna instruct me to have fun. I wish him the same. He's dropping his gateway over here in kind of a curious position. It doesn't do much to protect his nexus. Uh, myself, I'm getting my gateway here. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure units can squeeze through here uh, on this right side, but certainly I'll try to wall that off with an additional building as soon as I can, getting my assimilator pretty quick. Uh, that would suggest maybe some sentries earlier, maybe some stalkers if I was to speculate. Doing some basic scouting, we're gonna see this strangely placed pylon and gateway. Damon uh, wisely chrono boosting some probes to continue saturating his mineral line. Uh, at this stage in the game, really, it's really important to to always uh, produce probes. And actually, as I say that, my nexus here is idle and not creating any probes. So that's a bit of a misplay on my part. I really need to liquidate this money too. It's I'm we're just <laughs> I'm really waiting for myself to queue up these next probes as it's been a long time since I have. That's actually a pretty big problem with my build order. Um, actually, let's switch to the unit count, and you can see that. Uh, Damon is taking advantage of this. His worker count is at 17. Mine is at 15. <laughs> He's, uh, he just caught me stealing some minerals over here from his mineral patch as I was doing my scouting, but yeah, actually Damon is very much ahead in the harvester count. He's got 19 harvesters to my 15, and I'm actually very ashamed to say that I not only did I let my Nexus energy cap, but I have, was not producing pros for the longest time. So Damon, his economy is going to be showing this advantage very much so, actually. Yeah, I didn't realize when I was playing this game just how far behind I was. Hopefully the fact that Damon is supply blocked here will give me some time to catch up. Damon is sitting at 26 supply, whereas I only have 19. So if he actually tried a Zealot Rush, which he may be considering right now, I actually have this pylon here going up, uh, preventing any early Nexus. But... What I was saying is, yeah, uh, it, it would be tough for Zealots to try to break this choke. Um, I think actually the way I have my front wall constructed is, uh, as this probe is illustrating right now, they have to go up here to the north and then back down south to try to conquer this maze. Very early sentry here, I think my rationale is I wanted to get a ranged unit to try to defend this choke. Uh, as a Zealot, I think would have been less useful. Especially now, considering that I lost this pylon, but I did see what kind of army composition Damon has. He's just going straight up zealots right now, which is not a terrible choice this early in the game. I'm, I'm getting a very early robotics facility, so once again doing that very heavy macro build that I am no stranger to. Thankfully, I'm still pumping probes. I'm closing on Damon's probe count, but he still has more than me significantly. I've got two zealots compared to his four zealots and one stalker, but I also have one sentry to speak for. little bit of uh, yeah, an incorrect command here. This probe is forced to take the long way around. So both Protoss players uh, showing some signs of strength. Looks like Damon's robotics facility is going to be out a little later than mine was. I'm actually a supply block because I didn't realize that I gave my probe those incorrect, incorrect commands. But right now I do have the supply to continue making units and I'm chrono boosting my observer as well as this sentry right here. 
as soon as that upgrade completes, I, sh I would do well to transform these gateways into warp gates. Also, getting a pretty early nexus at around 30 supply, so uh, hopefully if I can get this second nexus saturated, I'll be able to pull ahead in income. Damon doing very well to continue uh, pumping probes. That being said, he has a lot more workers than I do, and the income is still showing that. Uh, as yeah, he, he very much has a superior income, can't really say it enough. This is really due to the fact, uh, once again, that I, I I halted my probe production really early in the game. I mean, it's, it's more excusable around now when you should have a close to saturated base anyway. As you can, you can take a look at Damon's Nexus here, he already has probes running laterally to get to free mineral patches, so he is very much saturated. Uh, if you're not producing probes at this stage in the game, yeah, once again, it's not as a big of a hit, but my observer is doing some scouting in Damon's base. He doesn't have any d detection and he's choosing to get a immortal before his observer, so I'm gonna have all the scouting information I need and let's see how I respond to his immortal. Looks like I'm getting an immortal of my own, real creative, but uh, actually right now I'm just trying to think of what counters immortals. I guess zealots with charge would do well to counter them and in theory colossus? if you could somehow uh, outrange the Immortals. Because one-on-one, -on -one, I'm pretty certain that an Immortal could take a Colossus just due to that uh, superior single target DPS and that fat bonus to armored units. But it looks like I do have Colossus in mind as I'm getting a second robotics facility and I don't see a robotics bay anywhere, but I'm starting now to transfer some probes to this free Nexus. Continuing to pump drones, I'm actually transferring them to that assimilator there. Uh, thankfully I do have both these assimilators fully saturated, I have had problems with the past um, with correctly saturating my gas, but right now it looks like I'm kind of overextending myself a little bit as you can see for yourselves that the army difference is very much in Damon's favor. Damon is now just catching my army here out of position, putting up that guardian shield just in case. I don't know that these sentries are going to be able to hold their own couple force fields here actually doing pretty well to separate these immortals and stalkers from the main attack group but even so I mean ooh, Damon doing a good job focusing down my immortal so excellent play here from Damon even though the second half of his army was separated pulling back now with the remainder of my forces uh, but yeah I I don't think it was wise for me to even attack in the first place just because Damon had such a superior army and he actually has his own nexus running but thankfully for myself I have I'm finally able to close the gap on the income. The income is very similar. As